Hello, my name is Mark Anthony Dubose Jr. And I was born July 4th, 1986. I'm gonna say thank you for tuning in to try to figure out some more about your dogs. This is something that, that I just, I don't know why and how I come to understand, uh, learn a lot about some dogs, but it's something that I just, I, I've come to realize I know quite a bit about. And that's one thing that, you know, I was reading through some comments and I just really, really wanna ask some questions. The main question up front is, why the heck would you listen to me? Why would you listen to what this guy right here has to say about anything about these dogs? This is one thing that I do know that I don't have, that a lot of other so-called successful trainers out here have. They have, uh, uh, we call it like, uh, they went to the best of the schools, and I guess I've gone to a school, so I guess I could say that. But they got all the accomplishments, they got all the awards, they've done all the sports, they've done all the stuff, and, and they're, they, just, they just got it all, all figured out. They got all the trophies, they got all the ribbons, they got all the TV appearances, they got all the dogs in the movies and the TVs, they got all the dogs doing all this. Why, why would you listen to me? It's something that, that you know, I really try to, try to figure out. Because at the end of the day, I'm just a, a random person out here doing what I'm doing with some dogs. And, and it's something that I think is, is very interesting on the concept of, why are we listening to what someone has to say to us about how to work with our own dogs? Why wouldn't we just take it up in our own selves to just work with our own dogs? Why are we looking for some outside help to help us with said issues going on with our dogs? That's a, the number one thing that I think a lot of people should really, really think about. Think about that concept for, for, just, for just a little while. Why are we looking for help to fix a sudden relationship issue with our dog, as opposed to just figuring it out ourselves and just trying and testing some things that just, because the main thing I'm gonna say is that I, I hear from a lot of people that I help. Mark, what you say, so, it's so natural to me with being able to get some sort of success, or I don't wanna use the word success, but get, get the results out, out of my dog that I'm looking for. It's so natural, it's like it's, it was already inside of me. And you just said some stuff that just like sparked that interest. It just allowed me to just be able to just do what it is that I knew I wanted to do in the beginning. And, and I was going to all this other stuff because it, it, it was almost like something was telling me that I had to do this, 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 and this, and this. As opposed to just doing what I naturally already inside of me just want to do. And that's one thing that I, I really want to recommend a whole lot of people. Because, uh, you know, in reality, <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm always, even since the first time I was training dogs the, the way I used to and everything I used to do, I, I was always trying to fire myself before I even hired myself. And today I really want to get to that point of firing myself before there, there, there's any money involved here. I want you to just really take a good hard look at what you want to do with your dog and what you desire with your dog, what you want with your lifestyle with your dog, and start to work on that and stop paying attention to, because it's something that, that uh, again, I, I didn't watch or pay attention to no training stuff, none, zero. I just did what I did with my dogs. And then I went to the dog training school, and then they started teaching me, this is how you do it, this is how you do it. And in reality, it was going completely against what I just wanted to do with my dogs. Sometimes I just wanted to hang, sometimes I wanted to run, sometimes I want this, and I just want to do what I wanted to do with my dogs. And I, and I don't know why, but for me, and I know a lot of people also feel this way. I don't want you telling me what the heck I should be doing with my dogs. I want to do what I want with mine. I don't need you to tell me I can't this, I can't that, and I can't go over here, and I can't be here, and I can't make this happen. I can't talk to them like this. I can't this. I can't this. I don't want you doing it. And at the same time, I don't want you to tell me what I can do. I can figure that out on my own. And I know a lot of us think this way. And I know for a fact it's not just me. We got some where I'm going to say there's more agreeable human beings and there's more disagreeable human beings. And at the end of the day, just being honest with my own self, I'm a very disagreeable person because I like to just do what I like to do. That's why I live on a farm, because I like to raise my own food. And I don't care what nobody else think that I process and, and slaughter and package all my own chicken and I got my own beef that I eat. I like it. I don't care if they got all the people out there. You should never do that. I just do what I do because I'm disagreeable, man. I want to do what I want. And at the same time, with me knowing that I had that disagreeableness inside of me, <laughs> my dogs are also very disagreeable because they're also saying, hey, I want to do what I want to do and when I want to do it. How, why do I need to listen to you? And that's where some very, 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 very interesting things start going on with being able to communicate effectively to what it is that we have in our households and for us to figure out what we want and what we desire. Because at the end of the day, this is the part for me that I think is the most interesting, not so much challenging to me because I don't know what it is. When I see people, I'm interacting with people, I, I, I don't know how, but I just start to learn a lot about you. But for one, a lot of people, y'all just love to talk about yourselves. <laughs> you, tell, you tell your whole story, you tell everything. And then when I start to learn all of that, I start to learn and realize what's going on with this dog here right now. And why is this dog acting a certain way that it's acting? And, and, and it's something that is, is very, very interesting because we don't want the whole world to know all this stuff. We just, we, we want to leave this by ourselves. That's why for me personally, I just don't like to talk too much about certain dogs and dogs because it's, 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 it's a thing going on with them in their lives, man. I don't want to broadcast that, broadcast it to the world and show them on camera, do this and do this and talk about what's going on with them and the, the struggles they're having and the, and the, the successes that they're having. That's, that's between them. That, that, that's you. And, and that's something that I think is very, very interesting on the fact that we come out here and think that we want to take someone else's advice on how to do something with our own stuff. 
And, and then we realize you're not getting any sort of help. You're, it's almost like you're, you're, you're stuck because you've gone a little bit in it. Now you got to go, like, go further and further and further and further and further and further and further. And that's the concept of what I could say is I go always deep, deep to the translation of talking about religion. You know a little bit. Oh, you need to learn a little bit more here, a little bit more here. You need to do this more here. You need to give more money here. You need to give more time here. You got to keep going, 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 going. And then you're going to finally get there. That's just, that's, that's, I'm going to say straight up foolishness, man. As opposed to just getting completely out of that and just starting to have a self-realization, a self-reflection of what the heck do I want? What do I want my dog to look like? What do I want my dog to be? How do I want my dog to function? How do I want to communicate effectively to my dog? And this is something that I'm going to say is there's going to be people on this planet that are just better at certain things. And there's going to be people at this planet that are better at, at showing and coaching and teaching people to be able to do some better things. But in reality, those are not the people that we're actually watching and paying attention to to be able to get the, the better stuff in our lives. We're looking at the people, we're looking at the fakery, the trickery, the people that want to do something so badly and, and, and they, just, they just want it and they go out there and they put themselves out there and they're telling you to do stuff that just doesn't work. And that's why it's not going in sync with what you got going on inside of you. It's something that I say, I could just read through my comments and it's just a very fascinating thing. Very fascinating. And so I, I, this is what I thought it should have been like. This just, this just seems like the, the right approach to go. This is this, 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 I already knew that, but I'm not doing that. And that's, that's what we're getting out here as a people. We're getting the people that are like, for, they want to do it. They want to be a dog trainer so bad because they love dogs, but they don't actually know how to work with them at all. That's why some people are just phenomenal. With just a simple leash, no treats, no toys, no nothing, going for walks, hanging out, and they got the nicest dogs on the planet. Those are the people that you should be paying attention to of how to be able to get a nice dog, if you even want to go that route. My first route I'm going to say is get away from the people that want it so bad and get into what you want and you desire. Because more than likely what you want and what you desire is something completely different than what these other people are trying to shove down your throat to say what you need to do. And again, this is why more than likely we are just having the most absolute high level of chaos going on with dogs right now. Because we got people that want it. And then you have your dog and you already just inside of you know what to do. This is why I made a video weeks, maybe a month ago, two months ago of, I don't want to teach you how to raise a puppy. That's for you to just have fun and figure out, man. Just do what you do. And at the same time, I can push that even further. I don't want to teach you how to really interact and play with your dog. I want you to figure that out. I want you to just play and experience and just try this and try that and just, just do what you do. That, that, that's the number one way that you are going to find, I'm going to say, the straight up success that you're looking for. And shut the outside noise off, man. Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut it all out. How to get your dog to sit? Who cares? If you want to do that with your dog, look at your dog. See, look at your dog face to face and just say, how do I do this? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guarantee you this. You sit there and you just stare at that dog. Something magical is going to happen. For one, more than likely, if you just sit there and stare at your dog, your dog is just going to automatically sit. It's going to like, this is what you want? And it's like, actually, yeah, that is what I want. Good boy. And you pet that dog. This, most of this stuff is that way, to get the dogs to down, to get the dogs to sit, to get the dogs to come to me, to get the dogs to get off of me. This is stuff that we all naturally have inside of us, especially the get off of me part. But, yet, but we're listening to all these different techniques and all this different stuff. We're bringing all these people around and, and, and we're trying to listen to what they have to say, not knowing who are you. Why are we listening to anybody? And again, why do you listen to what I have to say? And that's the main thing that I want to make sure that I am not going down the same approach as anybody. I'm not here to teach you a technique. I don't want you to learn a technique from me. You know, Mark, that's, that's weird. You're a dog trainer. I don't want you to learn, and no techniques for me. The way I get this dog to down, I don't want you to do it like that. I want you to do it the way that you want to do it. The way I got my dogs out here and hanging out and, and how they are, I want you to do what you got to do to get what you need. Because what I have out here is, is, is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And to have this a lot takes a lot. And not everybody wants that. Not everybody cares about dogs the same way. That's why me, at the end of the day, I'm a, rec uh, or get down. I'm a regular, everyday dog owner person. I'm not in love with my dogs. I don't like do all the extra and the most because at the end of the day, my dogs, this is one thing that I, I want a lot of people to think about. And, and this, is, this is the part when I'm about to say is going to challenge the people that want a dog train so bad and then they force themselves to think that they know how to do it, but they don't know how to naturally do it. This is the part for me that I don't work for my dogs. My dogs work for me. So I'm not the same as the majority of said dog trainers that you got to do all this for your dog, do this for your dog, do this. No, my dogs do for me. And they have always viewed animals, especially dogs, that way. I viewed them always that way. Like th today, I went for my best, nicest, longest run with this dog, and it was phenomenal. She's running with me. I'm not running with her. I'm not coaching her so that I can keep a pace with her. No, she's coaching. I'm coaching her to keep a pace with me. 
I got every one of my animals out here working for me. They're all doing stuff for me. And since they're doing stuff for me, they all have a purpose. They all have something to do. And that's why they don't have any issues. Each dog is different that I have. Like my dog, what is this big Johnny man back here? He chill, he hang out. He is what I would consider as my companion dog. The dog that I want everyone to have if you don't know what to do with your dog. Have a companion dog, a dog that's there with you. A dog that if you're irritated, he's there. You're happy, he's there. A dog that you could just say, hey man, we're done, he's here. A dog that I could just go to the store with, I can go to the restaurant with, I could go play with, I could go do whatever with, I could do whatever, whatever, whatever with. And just have your dog with you. And, and I want you to change your mind of what am I gonna do for this dog? What's this dog gonna do for me? I want this dog here for me. This dog is here to, to do something for me, to, to make my life better. And, and that's the whole purpose I'm gonna say is why dogs got close to us at some point. A human being saw a dog say, that dog, we can use that dog. So that's already ingrained in the dogs to want to do for us. And once you get them to do for you, that's when the magic happens. You see incredible things that you just never even thought were even possible. But when you're the opposite way of that, where you're trying so hard to like get that dog to like you, that's the trainers that unfortunately, that's just what majority, I'm going to slap probably 95% of dog trainers on this YouTube right now are that way. They want it, but they're not it. They just don't know dogs, man. They just, they want to know them so bad. That's why they like, I got to learn all the science. I got to know all this. I got to, I, I, they got to study everything. They got to be involved with it because they want it and don't just actually just have it. And those are not teachers, leaders that we should be paying attention to because they're going to teach you some foolishness to try to get your dog to appear to be something, even though it, it, it just isn't. That's where for me, you can't fake. You can't fake a good quality, solid relationship. You can't fake respect. You can't fake trust. It's just there or it's not. And that's what most of this training stuff today is doing, is fake. It's trying to make a dog think, like you're trying to force the dog to like you, but not actually like, no, understand you. You try to force respect. You better respect me, give him a treat. You better listen to me, give him a treat. That's not that, that's why we're failing right now. Because we're not just inside of our own selves saying, what the heck do I want with my dog? Why am I listening to this guy right here? Stand up here, speak about something, about how I gotta do this to be able to have a nice dog. As opposed to just hanging out and relaxing with my dog to have a nice dog. Why am I gonna listen to that person? Why am I gonna listen to this? Go over here, go over here, go over here. Because of how many trophies that they have, you wanna listen to that person? Because of how many, even people that they say that they have helped, you wanna, you wanna go work for those people? That's one thing that I was thinking about today is, when do reviews come in on people when, when you're working with them? This is why I don't tell anyone to ever give me a review. I, 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 I refrain, I, don't, do, don't say nothing about what I'm doing here. Because right as we're working and as we finish, things look great. So of course people are like, he was the best, he was the best, the best. But I wanna know two years from now, how are things looking two years from now? That's the real review. And that's the reviews that unfortunately we're just not really getting out here. And we're gonna select and listen to what somebody has to say based on a, a, a silly review on what, they, what they've done. And that's where, <laughs> if anyone's been shopping on Amazon recently, you bought something because of the reviews were good and you got it and you were just like, dang, what the heck is going on here? Like, what just, <laughs> I got, it. this thing has 68,000 reviews all given it 4.8 stars and, and I get it and this thing is absolutely trash. And, and we're, we're, we're basing stuff on, on that as if we're, we're going to, we're going to uh, uh, say that that's good based on what, who knows how, how they even got the say, credit or recommendation. Re re you know what I'm saying there. Recommendation, but uh, it, it's something that is just just weird to me when it comes down to relationships and and trying to like bring someone from the outside in to try to help fix our relationship. And it's only stuff that we can do ourselves. And it's only things that we have to just sit and just say, what do I want? What am I looking for? And just just really think on some simple questions. And, and the mainly think on why are, are we allowing someone to tell me that I have to have this sort of relationship with my dog? I have to do this kind of play with my dog. I have to do this kind of obedient stuff with my dog to get my dog to like me. That's why we're stumbling, because you don't want that with your dog. Some of us really like it to just do the obedience and down, sit, and, and do this whole show every single day, two to three hours a day, and just really love it. And, and, and they're going to build their relationship based on that, because they are making that dog do what it is that they want to do. But if you don't want to do that, you're, you're stumbling and fumbling because that trainer now is telling you this is how to have a nice dog. If you get it to loose leash walk, you're going to have a nice, no, forget that. People nowadays, you better be at a perfect heel. That's how you're going to have a nice dog. If your dog walks with you at a perfect heel, that's going to give you a nice dog. Who, who gave people the authority to, to, to speak that? That's what's going to be the universal fix all for everybody to be able to have something nice on this planet. That's stuff that we should just really be paying attention to. And then that's what it comes down to. Even I could put it to the point of, I went to a dog training school, a very big, huge, huge school. 
people, this, lots of people go to the school all over. And, and, it, and it's a very, very popular school. Who put that school together that gave them the authority to say that this right here is what everybody needs to know so that we can put this information out so everyone's gonna have success? We have to just do a trickle up effect here. Who's profiting in all this in reality is what I really wanna figure out the most of. The school I went to, they're making millions a year on training dog trainers to, to in reality, just from what I see and what I understand and what I know today. Training people that want it so bad, but they're not actually just gifted in it and being about it. But you want it, and you want it, so that's why these techniques, you're shoving to every single person saying, you gotta do this or else. Just put the dog down because it's not working because this, this, and this. As opposed to just saying, maybe we're, we're forcing something that shouldn't be forced. Because that's not what we're, we're, we're looking for at the end of the day. That's why I just, I just question why, even still to me, right now, this day, even a second of this video, if you're still sitting here watching, why the heck you listen to what I gotta say? Who the heck am I? I'm just some strange, weird dude out here that's got my chickens yelling today like crazy. That's got all my dogs looking like a mess right now. They looking all right right now, I'll say. But I got, I got, I got dirt all everywhere. I got busted down chicken coops over here. I got, I got wild craziness going on. Why the heck would you listen to what I have to say? As opposed to just listening to your own self for what you need. And that's why most, most videos that I watch, that I even watch back on myself, that's why I, I, I'm not talking anything about like, this is how to have a night, this is this and this and do this and do that and do this. The main thing I say is do nothing. Stop doing the foolishness. Stop doing the extra, stop doing the most. Because when you start to do nothing, you're gonna start to have to think and process for your own self, what you're actually looking for. You have to just, just sit in it and just say, what do I want? What am I looking for? Because everything I've been doing has been just not all that great. So what, what do I want? And this is the part where I'm gonna say is, this is, there's, there's no book to how to raise anything. To, to do it the right way. There's, there's none. You know, we got all these parenting books out here. I've read too many of them at this point in my life. And I keep reading more and more and more just to prove to myself that they all have, this could be, would be, but it's not all, there's, there's just no end all be all. There's just none. And there's no dog training stuff out here that says if you, you raise a puppy like this in five years, your dog's gonna be just the best of the best. And if you do this every day, you're gonna have the nicest dog. That's lies. That's manipulation. That's deceitfulness. That is just straight up crooked at the end of the day. Because the, the, what's gonna give you the best dog is you doing what you need to do and wanna do with your dog to figure out how to be able to make sure that you're getting what you're looking for and not what someone else is trying to shove onto you because they have an agenda of trying to get something from you. That's one thing that I'm gonna say. I, I don't want nothing from you. I don't need nothing from you. I don't desire nothing from you. I don't need you to, to write this about me or write that about me. I want you to just think for yourself and just say, I want something for my own self right now. Be a little selfish in a moment. I don't need that from you to make me feel better. It's what you look at, what you need, what you're desiring. That's why when I listen to what someone has to say, even to me, about my dogs, you know, I wouldn't like this. Cool, buddy, I'm doing what the heck I want to do. And watch how it's going to work at the end of the day because I'm following through every single day, every single moment with that. I don't like, I, I wouldn't have my dog in the, I wouldn't use no slip leash to apply pressure to get my dog to lay down. I don't give a crap, buddy. I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm going to consistently keep doing it. And in a matter of a year, two, three years, I'm going to have something that just looks absolutely incredible. Because I, I'm, just, I'm focused on this, I'm doing this. And not listen to that outside noise that's telling me to owe oh, this and owe oh, this and owe oh, this. I'm just like, I don't care, man. I'm doing what I do. And that's something that I think is the most challenging for most people. But for me, it's easy. Because like, again, I'm a disagreeable person. I just, I do what I do. And if I'm seeing results from what I'm doing, I'm just gonna keep doing it. But I do not want everyone to do what it is that I do. Because you're not gonna see the same success. Because if you don't keep up with everything that I do, you are not gonna see the same success. Because even like right now, every single time, like she's laying down, but she's not, she's moving, she's creeping up on me. So every single little thing, I'm all on top of her. And you'll say to you, oh, I don't, I don't want to be that picky about it. But for me, this is just what I'm working with. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to continue to keep on working towards so that I know that by the time she's three years old, I'm going to put this dog in a down. I don't, put, I don't even care what, if she's in a position. I'm going to say, this is what I want. She's going to just make it happen. That I, I, there's no trickery going on here. But is that something that everyone's going to keep up with? No. I do different stuff. The same thing I can say how my kids look. They look different than the other kid because there's different stuff going on here. We all are not the same. We all are very unique. We all go to the same school, the same structures, learn all the same stuff in elementary school, the same stuff, in, at least if, if you're born in, a, 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 what is it called, the Western society, whatever. And we all got the same stuff, man, the same high school. We all went to the same colleges and led all the same college stuff, but are we all the same at the end of the day? Heck no, man. All of us, there's many of us that we went to the schools together the whole way. There's many of us that 
went to elementary, middle school, high school, and joined the military at the same time. And went to basic and AIT and went to Afghanistan together and did all that together. And they are two completely unique, different people. And they were, they were in the exact same environment, majority of their lives, the, the whole time. But yet they're no, nothing of the same. And that's stuff that we should really, really think about. The way that my dogs look is not the way yours are. Even if you do what I do, your dogs are not going to look like mine. And that's where the lies that I'm seeing going on on here with everything. People saying to you, if you get your dog to sit like this and down like this and, and heal like this, your dog's going to be able to look like this. That, that's a straight up liar. And maybe they don't know that they're lying. Maybe they think that that is going to be able to bring someone success. But that's the part where I'm going to say again, they want it so bad that they have to do this foolishness to be able to get something that looks decent as opposed to other people that just have stuff that looks good, man. And I'm not even gonna classify myself nowhere near that. I see people that got stuff, I'm just blown the heck away. Like, how are you able to maneuver dogs like this? It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Those are the people in reality that I wanna listen to because they all do the same stuff. They do nothing with their dogs. They're not giving them treats, they're not giving them toys, they're not giving them praise, they're just move, maneuver them, moving them, and, and living in this world. Those people have the nicest freaking dogs, and they're everywhere. They're in your neighborhood. They're your neighbors. They're at the stores you go to. They're at the restaurant. They're everywhere. These people are everywhere. But they do not broadcast themselves to be a said dog trainer because they just, they, they don't see the need. So they're like, why would I need to help someone when this is all that it takes? Nothing. And it's just an incredible experience. It's just, it's just mind blowing to just consistently keep seeing that over and over again. When I'm seeing a trainer that has some really nice dogs trying to coach and teach someone how to have that same thing, they're doing the, you need this, you need this, and, 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 that's, and people aren't getting success. Man, I don't know how many people I know already have quit. They quit dog training because they're not finding the success. You, you, their dog looks good, but they're not able to get the next person to have that same thing because you want it so bad. When you want something so bad, you're going to do crazy stuff. Oh, uh, trying to get down? You're going to do crazy stuff. And when you need it so bad, then you're going to go real deep real deep into some real mass manipulation type stuff. And that's where I see majority of stuff going today. That it's no, it's, it's very, <laughs> this dog training stuff is very, it's very lucrative. When you're, when you're doing what you're doing to try to convince people like this is how you, this is very lucrative. I know people that are making some substantial money doing this stuff. And at the end of the day, I just can't personally do that because I know what it takes to have a really nice dog. Shut the noise off and do what you gotta do. Shut, shut, shut up listening to what anybody's gotta say and just do what you gotta do. And the main thing that the majority of everything I talk about is not about dogs. And I don't know if anyone has ever figured that out about how I talk and what I do. But it has nothing to do with dogs. It has everything to do with us as humans. Because I'm telling you, if we can figure ourselves out with what we're looking for, our dogs are the last thing we need to worry about. They'll just be there and they'll be good. And that's the main thing that I want to just continue to keep on focusing more of my time on. To give you the real help that you actually need. The real help is how do I calm myself down? Because I'm getting too irritable. I'm, I'm too impatient. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not on time. I'm, I'm just lazy. I'm just not dedicated. I just don't have the, the care to, to even want to do anything anymore. I, I, I want to motivate you more to how to get out of that funk as opposed to worrying about how to get your dog to stop jumping on you. Because the day that you decide, I, don't, I, I want to do something different today. I want to do something different. I want to go for an extra walk. I want to this. I want to that. I want to change up what I was always doing. I, I always would come home I would do this and I would do this and I would do this and I would go to sleep. If I just get you to change up one of those things, you're going to see success with your dog. Why does that happen? Who knows? But it's just the way the world works because you're going to start to focus more of your time somewhere else. And then you're going to focus it more somewhere else again and then more somewhere else again and more somewhere else again. And then you're going to start to see the, what I'm going to say is the real success that not just with a dog, but with life. You're going to find out things are going to start getting better for you. And that's something that is, is very, very fascinating to me at the end of the day. Because the more that I'm putting all energy on, this dog better day down here. Because this is how I started with it. I was like, you better. But then I said, like, oh, I told this dog to lay down. This is, what I, this is what I'm telling her to do. I don't care. If she gets up, whatever. It gives me an opportunity to help her to fix her again and tell her what I'm looking for. If she gets up 18 more times, it, it gives me the opportunity to keep on telling her this is still what I'm looking for. And it, it, and it makes life very, very easy. But if I'm sitting here like, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, because I can't, I can't calm myself down. I can't relax myself. I got too much anxiety going on she's going to look like a hot mess because I'm going to be on edge about every little thing. As I was just saying, I sit down. Done. I don't need to, to play no trickery here. And that's the thing I'm going to say, the common theme behind majority of every single dog trainer I see. When I see someone that knows how to work with animals, not someone that wants it so bad that they just, they, they do whatever they, they have to to try to get into it. And unfortunately, 
that's just the way that this YouTube stuff in reality works. It really works that way. The most people on here that are giving the most advice about anything, they want it so bad, but they don't actually live it. That's why if you watch certain channels and certain people for long enough, I've just been watching a, a, a one guy from years ago. He's like a, a health and fitness and all this stuff to just, what is it, like eight, nine years later today saying, you know what, everything I was doing was a lie, people. I, that, that, that was just, it, it was a show to try to make people think I was something that I wasn't. And that's the, that's the, the reality of it. Because the people that are just straight up real good at what they do, they're, 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 not, they're unheard of. They're not seen. And, and that goes down to uh, Oregon. That goes down to so much stuff on this planet. So much stuff on this planet. And it's, 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 it's very, very challenging because we want to we wanna find help. We want to get that assistance. But we can't get that assistance by listening to someone who actually isn't there to be able to assist you in any way. The people that are out here are just trying to lie to you, that are just trying to manipulate you, that are just trying to uh, uh, tell you that if you just do it like me, not, not really knowing that I know how to do what I know how to do, then you're, 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 you're going you're gonna to continue to keep on failing. And that's what I see. Most people today on dog training stuff, the, the number one thing, like I, I'm not trying to knock no one for coming out here and trying to make you money. You know, you got to make your money. But all the biggest guys out here and girls, they try to sell you something outside of dog training. They try to sell you food. They try to sell you toys. They try to sell you all these things. Oh, if you gave your dog, oh, I just heard the most wildest commercials the other day talking about it. You give your dog better food, your dog's going to like you better. I'm going to say yes and no to that because it's, it's at the end of the day manipulation still. That's just not the way that this, this world works. The more that you do with your dog, the more that you're with your dog. Not even like, like I said, you don't need to be with them 18 hours a day. But just the more that you do when you see them and you're around them, the more that you do, that's what's going to give you a better dog. Not a better food that you give them. Because I got that short live with this dog here. I started processing my own chickens. I started giving him that stuff. And this dude, tell him malfunction again. But like this dude here, I tried to tell him, give him his food. And it was, it, he turned into, yes, sir, whatever you want. But that was short lived. It lasted for a day's couple weeks. And then it just went right back to the same old stuff again. Because it, I didn't deal with the core issue going on here. I was coming in with the, if I buy you this, you'll like me. And that stuff just does not work. Doesn't work. And that's what you got to do when you want it so bad, but you're not actually good at it. You got to lie. You got to cheat. You got you to put something out there to try and make, make that dog think that it, it's going to care about me. Make that, that girl think, oh, she's going to like me because I buy her these, these fancy dinners and I buy her these purses. No, they're going to disrespect you even more. Because that's just what it is at the end of the day. No one likes to be bought. We all just want to be uh, appreciated and just cared for. We do not want to be bought. And the same with the dogs. They do not want to be bought. So that's something that I just want a lot of people to think about. Why the heck would you listen to what I have to say on how to have a nice dog? Why would we, as a, as a human being species, listen to anyone else on the outside say to us what we should be doing with our dogs? As opposed to us just thinking to our own selves. Because again, most what I go and I help people with. They're just like, that's, that's what I already thought. But I just didn't do that because this person over here and this person over here and this person over here. But if you would have just done, did what you thought up front, you would be on the, the road to success right now already. Years and years ago, you would have already been set up. But since we're listening to this, we're getting confused. We're getting very confused. Just, just absolutely massively confused. Like the day I showed up at the vet with this dog, they said, oh, Dalmatian. The first thing she says to me, get pet insurance. I was like, I'll consider it. And the next thing she says to me, you need to get a trainer because this dog's going to be wild. If someone already put that in my brain, that this dog is going to be challenging, now I think this dog is challenging. But then I had to quit that a couple days ago because I'm like, this dog is not more challenging than any of my other dogs. It's a dog. And it, it may take me a little bit more to get what I want, but it's not because it's, it's a harder dog or a more difficult dog. It's just a dog. It just I have to approach it differently. I have to do things a little bit differently. But I want to do it the way that I want to do it, not the way that someone on the outside is going to tell me that I need to do and handle and maintain and manage my dogs. I think that that's where most of us, especially if you're in that stage, that it's, it's getting kind of dangerous because we're trying to pay attention to what someone outside is trying to tell us to do with our dogs. And we already know what we should be doing. And, but we're, we're doubting ourselves as if we're not what, smart enough, we're not intelligent enough, we're not capable enough. You're capable enough to know how to be able to make the right or wrong decisions to, to how to keep your dog happy and healthy. You, you know how to do that. You have it in you already. You already know what to do. You may not be that elite. I'm going to go into PSA three nationals. I'm going to have my dog compete. That, that might, that's not you. But if it wanted to be, you could try to fight it and force it to get there. 
but that's not just for, for the average person to do. That's, that's, that, 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 that's why we have sports and Olympics and NFL and NBA. We got stuff out there. Some of y'all play some baseball, but you're not on the NBA, M, M, NBA, whatever, the, the baseball stuff. You're not out there professionally doing it. Some of y'all are some golfers, but you're not out there on that field doing that, the PGA Tour and, and out there. You're not out there, but you do it, and, and you do it the way that, that, that you're doing it, and you're having fun with it. That's why there's differences of levels here. So let's just stay in our lane with what we want and what we desire and just work on that. Because there's some people that it would take them months to get a dog to lay down like this. But there's other people that I've seen in my face, a dude, do something that was just mind-blowing to me. That he would have had this done in, in, in 15 minutes, if that. And I'm still working on it. And that's the difference is some people just know how to get stuff done. And others have to try to fight it so hard to get it done. I want to listen to the people that know how to get stuff done. Not to the people that need to have trickery and games and manipulation and all this to try to get something to look all right. And it's still at the end of the day, the stuff is just all right. Now, if this stuff is grade A, the most excellent out there competing in the best of the sports and being able to be the top competitor, you know, I, I might have to listen to a little bit more what that person has to say. But still at the same time, no, because I don't want that. I want a pet dog. Thank you.